Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate the include files and how to work with the include files. Okay, everything that you need to know about the include files will be will be dealt over here very soon. So, first you need to do is the create a main include files. Um, include files, right? And then after you have to create the main files. If you have created all those include files and the main files, then after how to manipulate that ones, how to save that ones, everything's I will show it over here. So this one is my main files first, but strike main file dot k file. This one is my main file. So I'm first things that I'm going to do is to include the include files inside this one. For that, you just need to go inside the keyword. And double click on the include and inside browse if you have created the include folder then inside you can go inside and just include any of the files means in this one I'm including the word files okay after browsing the files I have to insert it first after inserting it I have to accept it so after accepting the ID will be created for that include files. If you want to add one more include files, then in that case you have to add and then after repeat the process using browse, going in casing means I am again browsing casing in this case. So I have to insert it again. After accepting, the new ID will be created for this one, for the casing one. So. I am uh, stopping the include files over here means I am only including two of the files over here and I will show you later how to how to re-include the files means once saving it and again including the files later later on so once you include the files you will see no things right so in that case you have to save the files so you are seeing only this one so only this option because at initial conditions you had only body strike main file so that's why it you have only this option save it overwrite you if you want to overwrite or if you want to create new ones you can create new ones otherwise you can overwrite now you have to close the this uh, yellow speed post and reopen the another yellow speed post and in that yellow speed post if you reopen this body strike main file then you will see all those include files um cad models and the uh, control control cards or any of the cards that you have included on those include files so now I am reopening this yellow spray post. After reopening this one, I am going to reopen that previous main files in which I have included two of the include files. This body strike main file, right? So here you see, I have board models and the casing models which I have included previously in the main files now if you want to include more include files then in that case while saving you will face some kinds of um, some kinds of means different uh, you will not see only one files um, for saving but uh, different files uh, means previous include files will also be included um, into the saving files so in that case you need to take care so I will show you how to do that once too. So add, browse. So in this case, I'm going to add a blade hub. Insert, accept, okay, and done. Done. Now here. This is what I was talking about. Means if you save now previously you had included 
you had included what two of the files two of the include files now in this case it is asking that do you want to save the main files include files and these include files means if you had made any change into these include files then you can just keep all those things ticked and save it if you have not if you haven't changed anything into these include files then you can just untick this and save the whatever the include files you have imported if you have imported those include files what i mean is while including you have to check over here means in which files you are inclu including the next files so in this case i have included the include files which is the this one third files this one the blade hub i have included the blade hub files into the body strike main files not in these two include files okay so you have to take care of those things over here so so while saving what you have to do is untick this and keep this one ticked so that you will save the files the include files that you have included into this files you have to save it so this one is the file path and the file name both and this one is just the file path which you can see over here over here so now we are going to save it if we reopen it you we will see the blade hub over here okay so let's see um, so what happens if you make some changes and then means how to save the files right include files and include and the main files how to save those means uh, what are the what are what are the differences in saving the files so that is what i'm going to show you now so let's see means in this case i'm going to change the element formulations okay here we have we are seeing two as the element formulations i'm going to make it one and i'm keeping the include and the subsystems and the subsystems as a board okay i'm making some changes into the include files which is included into the board strike main files okay apply and then done so here i'm going to make some changes into the board include files so as i have already changed the element formulations done now while saving the file i will see so now as i am saving the files i will see some changes in the color of the buttons include files means if you have all uh, made some changes into the any include files then the color of that files will be will be different it means this one here we are seeing the red one so if you make some changes in the casing file then casing file will also becomes red right so in that way you will know means in which file you have made some changes and you can also predict means whether you were intended to make some changes into those include files or not and so it is very good uh, to know means this uh, difference in color will tell you um, whether the things is uh, going right or not whether that is intended or not means and you can just save the files or do not save the files from there so as we have already made uh, made some changes in the board files and we know that we want to make some changes in these files include files so we are going to save it means now one more thing even um, you have not made some changes in all other include files and if you keep those files ticked and save it then it will create no difference okay so you don't need to worry about any of those things you can just save it and the corresponding value will be changed or saved accordingly and it will not disturb another include files or any other things so you can you can just save it so after saving we are going to reopen it and we will see so whether the changes are made or not so now i'm going to show you 
uh, as you have already changes the element formulation of the previous include files so we are going to see whether the changes are made or not So we are saying that the changes is right and it is in its one place and so it is good news. So in this way how it is it, so this is the way we save the files and we work with the include files into the main files in ELS Dyna. So thank you for watching.